Hey guys, this is Chief Snake here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do some farming runs. Notice we're starting in the Tree Gnome Stronghold. We're going to start with just a normal tree run. I'm going to withdraw my invent, well, withdraw my equipment first. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll just show you how quick it be can be when you know what you're doing. That's basically it. I've got my five trees, uh, saplings, my five farmer payments, in this case oranges, for maple saplings, um, my spade, as always, uh, teleports to Varric, Falador, Taverly, which is the house teleport, and Lumbridge, which you don't actually need because you can use the um, home teleport. Um, I've also got 2k to pay for tree to pay for the trees to be chopped down like I'm doing now um, an axe just in case you don't want to pay for the trees or there's a bug where the trees can't be paid for and a terror bird pouch and terror bird scrolls I'm gonna use that now so notice, uh, notice I've just planted my first tree in the tree name stronghold and paid the farmer to cut it down for me and paid him to look after the next one for me um, I'm going to teleport to the first place now, which is Falador. You can do Falador in pretty much any order you want. Check health. Talk to the farmer to chop it down. Plant a new one and pay for it. Next, we'll be going to Lumbridge. Plant that and pay for it again. And then we'll go to the house in Taverly. You can also get to here from going to Felidor, doing that patch, and then running straight up to Taverly. When you get low in energy, just use your Terror Bird and its scrolls to help you run. If you don't have the summoning level required for a Terror Bird, which is only 52, then you can just use energies or super energy potions. And that's 18k farming XP right there. So you've got to be happy with that. It does cost a little bit to use maples, but it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I mean, farming is a great skill. As you can see, I'm heading back up to the Grand Exchange. As you're going past, if you don't have your um, Terror Bird out yet, then you can go into the Grand Exchange and buy some seeds or whatever. But I'm going to go straight through to the um, Spirit Tree and head back to the stronghold. While I'm here I can just recharge my summoning if need be. And then head over to the bank and grab out my next lot of um, fruit trees in this case. So here we go, some pineapples. Um, I pay for them with watermelons. Um, then some poison ivy berries to pay for a calquat. Oops. That's a teleport to Catherby or Camelot, and a teleport to Letia. I 
think that's all we need for this run. And so I'm going to go straight over to this fruit tree here. Check health. And pick all the pineapples off it, or whatever fruit you have in there. Just go straight on to chopping that down, dig it up, and plant a new sapling. Just remember if, if you're using super composts instead of farmer payments, then uh, don't plant it straight away, of course, use your super compost. But if you're using uh, farm payments, then super compost is not necessary. You don't have to bank now, we're just going to go straight on to Trino Village. Um, head out here, through the loose railing, and then follow Elkoy out of the maze. So head over to that patch there. And this can take a bit of time, so I guess I'll be speeding this up in the actual video. Now before I started getting into farming seriously this year, I had no idea of what I'm about to do, which is charter a boat from Catherby to Brimhaven. Uh, this costs a few hundred coins, I forget exactly how many, but you'll see in a moment. So right click on that person to charter, and it'll cost 240 GP. As you can see we've got plenty of money prepared for that. that farmer and then we'll move on to the Calquat. Calquats are available to be planted once a day. Um, they're often very annoying, they die if you don't um, protect them and they can often take uh, 30 hours or more so just be aware that they're going to annoy you a little bit or a lot if you plan on getting 99 farming like me. But and, as you can see, mine's not even ready yet, which is one of the annoying things about them. So usually you would just pick all the fruit off that, check health, and dig it up. Dig it straight up, don't worry about that message it gives you. And plant a new one. And then pay this guy over here. So now we're going to move on to Letya with the Tanaquot Crystal. And plant the last, uh, last fruit patch. Okay, we're pretty much done our fruit trees now. Oh, whoops, no, I forgot to pay the farmer. See, happens to the best of us. That was close. Okay, back to the bank over here. And we'll offload all the stuff we've collected. And that pretty much masters everything you need to know about um, farming for XP. Next week I'll be showing you how to farm some herbs to make some money back, so stay tuned and I'll see you later.